The police say they still have no suspects and they're urging anyone with information to contact them. Meanwhile, colleagues here at the Fire Training Academy say they dearly miss Walker's jokes and laughter and neighbors, they're grappling with what's happened to their neighborhood. One of them is so angry that she's taking matters into her own hands. Nobody knows what happened. Frances Russell, better known as Mama Frances on Lampson Road, has so much seniority and respect here that she's confronting suspected drug dealers herself, hoping to find out who killed her neighbor, William Walker. They all liked the guy. They spoke to him and went about the business. She hasn't gotten any leads or tips yet, but she says she's not backing down either. He was a nice man. He mind his own business. He went to work. He came home. No drama. Last week, the Cleveland Fire Lieutenant was gunned down in his own driveway, shot multiple times in the chest. Another good man gone. So are the friendly horn beeps and waves, all things Blaine Marshall says he and Walker used to do. They were going down. Too many wild people coming in. Wild people, drug people. I'll be up pretty late a lot of times and I, like, I hear a lot of gunshots and sirens going on around here. Javante Williams says the neighborhood has deteriorated so much that he's looking to move, but others have hope. It's getting better. It's, it's getting better. And everyone wants to know who took Walker's life. I feel bad about it. Awfully bad. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. If you can't find the person that did, it's still running loose. If you know anything about the murder of William Walker, Cleveland police are encouraging you to call their homicide unit. That number, 216-623-5464. Again, 216-523-5464. Live on 5 in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Bull.